So we're gonna go and investigate the rubble. I don't know, it has like weird names tight, around. Can... Okay, here we go. Hold for identity scan. the information of the Elizabeth Sobek Elizabeth Sobek Sobek right? Sobek, you are okay. 355,510 days out of date. You are meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Where are we? 350,000. That's hundreds Three of years ago. ago. Yeah, that's What's what I'm... On? That's what I'm saying, dude. Who, whose face she had, bro? Like she looks like to someone who was alive 300 years ago. Damn, dude. I don't know, dude. This game is like futuristic as fuck at this point. Or a statue of one. That's the bringer. A machine oh. built to kill. Oh, and they honored it. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With Wait a minute, let me see this. You know, the Malay Dekru combined arrived with the, his delegation of refreshments to the server before the 1015 sales representation of the Creole clients and the instructions food will be vegetarian only. Something going on, dude. 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe. Pharaoh leads the world in. What was this place? What were they doing here? Okay, so Elizabeth Sobek is born March 19, 2020. Wait, what the frick? Okay, is an American scientist, robot, robotist, robot, roboticist, and an engineer, engineer widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century, born and raised. Outside the Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled the Central University of H. Studied, huh? Okay, earning a B.S. Experimental Physics and Computer Science at the age of 16, she completed her Ph.D. in Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Design, Carnegie Mellon University, in 2014, and joined Faro Auto Automated Solutions. As a genius scientist, same year, recently recorded. Dude, she was uh, some kind of scientist back in the I don't know it was what. A corporation, a group of people not unlike a tribe, and they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Another cave in. But I could get through. Okay, so these crates and data is something from Jeff Fringlin Frinkin, the research of the subject of recomplete hair hair reception is if that is your real name, wanna know who scheduled into the melee right next to the fresh grounds? That would be me, senior. VP of sales wanna know why after that little hair pulling incidents both sides increase their bids by 40. I will explain your question 
level and brain probably and requires those sides are fighting what do we serve their combat machine we want them to hate each other so they will try to fight each other with what that's right again common come combat machines which they will pay us a lot of money for us so just go back and serve a coffee with a blank smile and let me know of the much more complicated job okay so all that fighting machine and stuff they were the one who planted it just for you know something well it was something that's why they did it ah shit i guess that's how we're gonna do it now yeah okay Looks like I can climb uh, here. Yeah. And here we go. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see what we are going for. Good. Okay. Okay, the supply drop. Uh, I mean the supply box. I don't know why even I said supply drop. Uh. Okay. Dude, that was just legit luck. Not gonna lie. Okay, where where we wanna go? Where we wanna go? We have to go that side. Okay, I can't open this one. Because it has no electricity and stuff. Okay, wait a minute. That's how we have to go to get there. Damn, dude, I don't ha I don't need to have to jump or do anything. I'm just going sideways. And okay. Wait a minute. Let me go and check that thing first. Nothing here. There had to be some type of data or something. No. Okay. There you go. Okay, campus log. Pause campus log. That's a lot to read. I just leave it to you guys. If you want to read it. So people were angry at Faro. Yeah. The corporation. They looks like the way up. I guess they are the one who developed all these machines and everything at this point. You know? That's why the whole world were mad at them, maybe. Okay. Dude, this has a lot up. of things. Frozen to offer. Most of the way. Not making but this why? Easy, Dr. But why she Plants looks like find a way to hang on up here? Yes, I can too. Yeah. But why she looks like her. You know? Like why she doesn't look like I her thing. She is a human, not a robot, that's for sure. But the way the the freaking priestess or maybe whatever she was explained that how she found Aloy there just you know doesn't seem like a good thing to do or give something, you know. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down codes, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, and absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us, against this company, in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming, when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. 
But I guess the whole place got ruined after they did did turn the freaking everything upside down. You know? And I don't know bruh, they have like a snow going around here, but nothing on the other side. Okay, how are we gonna go? How the frick are we gonna go in there? Okay, there. And here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go and... Okay, so the whole thing I guess collapsed after they did the whole turning each each freaking each machines to each other and stuff. That's all the last thing they did. Maybe I'm not sure. Damn dude, I thought she gonna die. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. Wait a minute. There's something. Here we go. All hands on deck. Wait. Uh, from Gordon Nakata to Gina Zierman. Ever hear of the Melville Aslan Food Association? Neither had I until they felt the suit against us this morning. Apparently, there's a little. Island, paradise of the coast of Australia, population of 2,700, all of whom hate us now that our spray hearts timer unit is chewing, chewing down on their largest mango orchard that brings the official count of heart timer with those two. two. But okay, see, I told you, the people just, you know, just went against them, that's it. Okay. Okay. We have to go to a side and go up. Wait. We have to go there. I like we have to go back up. But for now, this is the place we have to be on. Let's see what we're gonna find. I guess there's gonna be a lot of things that we can find here. I'm not sh even sure what we are looking for exactly. We're just going into turns and turns and turns. I haven't reached the place, dude. And we're still going up. I just love the circling thing, you know? I love. Just love how they just want me to room around and do nothing and I'm still going and here we are I guess it's close the way up all it takes is a few good handholds Made it. Let me just let me just check this. Nothing much. Okay, this is some kind of big machine or something like that. That data has so. been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Wait, we recovered a file from it. Let's just see, dude. Okay, there's uh, some kind of video or something we find. I guess. What's the hell? Good to, hey. uh. It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. Alright, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... 
a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Yeah, Another that's... Has been Wait. Guess I just only a one this thing. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final has been Okay, before we watch that. So, she was a scientist. She looks like her. But, you know, like she saved the whole thing from the robots by controlling them, maybe destroying them. Well, she didn't destroy them. She just maybe, you know, neutralized them somehow to change their their whole system and stuff so they won't be killers anymore that's why the uh, her she exists right Project now Project Zero Dawn Jesus Liz there has to be another way if there are a nicer way to fix your mess I would have proposed it but this this when I asked you to find a cure I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease it's not Ted it may be grim but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Opened. Now, the whole that whole three hologram bits just made me question a lot of things right now. <laughs> Why? What this, Ted made? This doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. 
Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. And here we go. If you're so smart, I see your point. You don't understand. Wait a minute. If if you're so smart, wait a minute. I don't see his point. All I knew about it, you don't understand. You have no so, idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? <sighs> You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet her. 